Um, and this one is also a piece from a new phase of my life because about, uh, as some of you might know, I have, um, have a store in Las Gatas called Las Gatas Guitar Gallery where we carry hand-built guitars and stuff like that. And, well, not a lot of other stuff like that, but hand-built guitars and then everyday guitar stuff. Um, and one day a guitar came into the store that was supposed to go up on the wall for sale and I made the mistake of, oh, I went over to the builder's house who was supposed to be here. I don't see any class in here today, but anyway, um, was, uh, I went over to a shop and picked it up in Santa Cruz and brought it over and it was pouring. It was a late Friday afternoon and I remember thinking, nah, I'm not going to the store now. I'm not going to drop it off in the rain. I'll just take it home and bring it back in the morning when the store opens again. Um, so I took, took the guitar home and thought, wow, maybe I should check it out while I have it here. And I sat down on the couch and started playing a few things and playing some notes. Wow, that sounds really ringing for a long time. Different than what I had. And then listen to the high notes and think, Anyway, I was kind of, I was kind of caught off guard because I hadn't really thought I'd had the same guitar for about 20 years, and really hadn't even thought about getting another one. But as I played this guitar, I remember thinking, man, this is, this is the nicest guitar I've ever played. And my daughter came in, who always comes in and says, oh, Dad, I really like that song. She came in and said, Dad, I really like that guitar. <laughs> and I can't imagine she was aware enough to know that it wasn't my guitar. Um, so I thanked her and sent her on her way. <laughs> But, um, and as I'm thinking about which student I will tell about this guitar, I know I have three or three or four, two or three at the time that we're all looking for a really nice guitar. And, uh, wow, somebody's going to get a really nice guitar. Who, who do I tell first? Whoever I tell first will buy it, and the other guys are, well, they'll never know. And I thought, wow, you know what? What I might have to do is then I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to get it back from whoever I let buy it. So as I'm, I'm starting to think about this, Nani, my wife, walks in. And she immediately notices it's not my guitar. That's kind of a little difference between her and Rebecca. But um, I said, whose guitar is that? I look up and say, I am not sure. She's very quiet. Sits down on the couch and looks at me. I think it's time you had a new guitar. She just left too. I'm sorry, but I can't tell that story when she's here. Um, you go to her head. Um, anyhow, so so I bought this guitar, and uh, the three students who were looking for guitars all got really nice guitars. Just the next ones that came after this. So this is built by a guy in Santa Cruz named Ed Claxton, and uh, it. Uh, so the whole point of that story. I'm sure you were wondering was um, all of a sudden I could do stuff, I had more colors on my palette, sort of, of things that I could do with songs I was writing. Um, and I really hadn't written any very long, slow, drawn-out songs. So the next four or five songs you're going to hear are going to bring you way down. But this one's, uh, so this is the first song I wrote on this guitar. And as I was working on it, I thought, yeah, that really reminds me of a nice lullaby. I keep the, you know, put the kids to sleep, and might put the audience to sleep, let's hope not. Um, so it's called On a Gentle Wind. <laughs> 